Hello everyone, it's Peace Daddy here, Mr. Dollar. We are in our section of mixtures and solutions called solids. This is our unit on mixtures and solutions, and this is the second part of that unit called solids. And today we're going to do activity number two in solids. Overall, we're on activity number 11. So this is part 11. And today we need a heavy object, like a large book or a rock or a brick. So I'm gonna move the camera down so we can take a look at the uh, rock that I brought today. This is a piece of granite. And the command says to pick the object up Pick up the object, hold the object in one hand, and next hold the object in the other hand, and finally hold the object in both hands. And the questions that we need to be thinking about while we're doing this is, do your hands feel pressure? So that means is there, is there something pushing down on your hands when you hold something like a solid? and in which direction does the object want to move? That's the next question you need to be thinking about. Which direction does it want to move? The other question is, does the object change shape while it's in your hand? Record your observations in your science journal. So again, we're thinking about these questions that I introduced in a former activity. We're thinking about volume, we're thinking about shape, movement, and spacing. Those are the things that we're thinking about when uh, we talk about solids, liquids, and gases and the different states of matter. So when you have that rock in your hand and you're feeling that rock, you have to ask yourself, now if this rock was in a different container, would the volume of it change or would it stay the same? So if I have it in my hand, does the volume change or does it stay the same if I put it somewhere different on the table? It stays the same, right? What about the shape of it? If I move the rock around and uh, you know maybe I had a bucket here or something or if I put this rock onto this tray does anything happen to the shape of it? No, it keeps its shape. The shape of it stays the same. Uh, you can think about the spacing of the particles. When we talk about particles in a solid, we've said before that they're close together. They're closer than they are in a liquid and they're closer than they are in a gas. They're so close that the only thing that can take up the space that this solid is taking up right now is this solid. Nothing else can take up the space. So those particles are so close together that they're touching. And do they move? Well, yes, we said that they move. Do they move fast or do they move slow? Well, these particles that are inside of this rock, I mean, if you're just looking at it, it doesn't look like they're moving. And that's because they are moving and they're moving slow but they're moving so slow that we say that they are vibrating, okay? They're moving so slow, but they are moving. We say that they are just moving fast enough, and we call that a vibration, right? They're just kind of shaking just a little bit. Maybe like how when you shake when you're cold outside and you shiver just a little, but not even that fast, right? So on the back, the statement says, Solids are being pulled by gravity downwards towards the Earth's surface. So, of course, gravity is going to affect a solid. And you can hold the object, and it will not uh, change its form, is what our statement card says on the back. So, the volume of it stays the same, okay, for a solid. The shape of a solid, it's going to keep its shape. The shape does not change. The spacing of the particles on the inside, well, they are close together. So close together that nothing else can move in between them. 
And do those particles move? And if they move, how do they move? Do they move fast or do they move slow? Well, in a solid, the particles are moving, but they're moving so slowly that the word we use to describe that movement is called vibrating. All right, so again, this is card number 11, and I wanna thank you for watching. This has been Peace Daddy. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.